Held in captivity for six years, she was beaten, chained, malnourished and psychologically abused. Yet despite these cruelties, she survived life-threatening illnesses and forced marches through the Colombian jungle. She has written extensively about her experiences and the valuable lessons learned, all of which have shaped her views on leadership. And I'm delighted to welcome Ingrid Betancourt. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me. And you, as I said in the introduction, you have written a great deal about what you went through, but just doing my own reading, I'd, li I'd like to know whether the biggest threat to your survival was the violence that surrounded you or the fact that the hostage takers tried to strip you and the other captives of their names referring to you by numbers, what was the biggest threat? Well, you see, one of the things uh, when you lose your freedom is that you might be also lose your dignity. I mean, freedom and dignity are linked together. <clears throat> so uh, the way they would try to break our force and our capacity to resist them and to, to, to confront them was by working in the, in the inside of our brains in order to uh, make us feel that we were objects, that we were not uh, important to anyone anymore, to isolate us. And, and one of the features, of course, was chaining us by the neck to, to, to a tree uh, so, so that we felt like animals or uh, referring to us like the things that they were transporting or uh, asking us to number ourselves. And uh, every time it was a struggle to confront this type of manipulation, not only with the guards and with the guerrilla, but also with my fellow hostages, because everybody was afraid and everybody was thinking that we couldn't confront them because we would be pun punished if we did. And for me, punishment was just a side effect. It was, I mean, uh, for me, it was much more important to protect my soul and, and to fight for who I was and to nourish myself with the, with the memories of my loved ones and the love I received in order to, to, to stay strong. And I think that was uh, very important for me. And it, give, it, it, it just uh, allowed me to, to come back from the jungle as a, I would say, balanced person. Of course, I have traumas, but I would say that I have been able to, to fight my traumas in a in a healthy way